Keith Gleason, creator of the Mighty Mascots, host of Indie Comics Relay, and a promoter for Plastic City Comic Con. I am here with another comic review. Before we get into that, just a reminder that Mighty Mascots 7, 8, and 9 is no longer with Alterna Comics, but it's live on Indiegogo for the new three issues. Uh, we are coming into the home stretch. 7 8 is done except for you know minor tweaks and edits and we're changing a little bit of the artwork here and there i'm george lucas in this thing right to the end before we go to the printer um issue nine um the artwork is almost completely done and some of the lettering has been done so we're chugging like right along with that issue as well we got a lot of great perks on the campaign so check that all out if you're interested in backing the link is below in the description all right, let's get on with this week's comic review. This week I am reviewing Phantom Road. This is a comic by Image Comics. The creators on this are Jeff Lemire, who is the writer, Gabriel H. Walta, who is the artist, colorist is Jordi Belair. And lettering and design is Steve Wands, and the editor is Greg Lockard. And um, so I I, you know, I don't want to spoil this book for you guys, uh, uh, but I will read the synopsis for it from the Image Comics website, so just so you can get an idea of the storyline here. And then I'll talk about it a little more after I read the synopsis. So the story is Dom is a long haul truck driver attempting to stay ahead of his tragic past. When he stops one night to assist Birdie, who has been in a massive car crash, they pull an artifact from the wreckage that throws their lives into fifth gear. Suddenly, a typical midnight run has become a frantic journey through a surreal world where Dom and Birdie find themselves the quarry of strange and, and impossible monsters. It's grindhouse horror meeting high concept supernatural fantasy in the first issue of a bold new series by Jeff Lemire and Gabriel Hernandez Walta. So yeah, that, I mean, that sums it up. It's hard to talk, talk about this first issue um, without spoiling, spoiling a lot, but that, that summary kind of sums up, you know, the basic premise of it so far the the first issue was good but it, it you know it had it suffers from that same fate that most first issues do where they give you enough that you um you want to come back which is great but it feels like you're just getting like the first 10 minutes of a movie you know what i mean so you you, you you're just starting to get into it and then you reach the final page you know um that's what I felt about this. I, I, you know, if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you know, I, I've probably reviewed about four or five Jeff Lemire books um, in the past already. And, I, you know, he's one of my I think he's one of the best creators working in comics today. Best writer, artist. I know he's, he has a really unique art style that um, you either get into or you don't. But I like it. It's 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 very indie, you know. Like, I, but I like it a lot. I'd love to get a piece of his artwork at some point to hang on the wall, you know. Um, but yeah, he also shines as a writer. I gotta say, like most of his projects, they 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 go from really personal, you know, where it's just family drama, things like that, but or to these grandiose kind of storylines. So. I, you know, I love that about him. And I feel like every book that I read by him feels different from the last. So, you know, so thumbs up to, um, to Jeff for that. This one is, a, I think, a kind of a different road for him. Like, I don't know if he's done. A, oh, he's done some horror stuff. I, I, I think Gideon Falls was kind of like, yeah, that was definitely out in the horror vein. This feels like it's kind of cut from that kind of formula. And then also his newer um the bone or bone orchard mythos i think it's called it's like a a shared horror universe that he's doing a bunch of books on so this phantom road feels like it could be part of that but it, i know it's not um so the the description about grindhouse horror meeting high concept supernatural fantasy i 
I feel the grindhouse horror part, but I'm not seeing the supernatural fantasy yet. So maybe that'll come in later. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's 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 solid. It's a great first issue. It's enough to hook you in to keep coming back. Now I know this is an ongoing series, so I don't know how many issues they're planning on producing. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna be in it for the long haul. I like I like the main character, and I like Birdie, who's the girl he finds at the end of the first issue. And it's kind of neat to see a story about a truck driver, but you know, of course, he, they, there's a little bit of flashback, and his fa- you know his family life's kind of a disaster. So I'm curious to see how all of this all ties in, you know. Um, and then there's there's monsters. It, it reminds me of it, you know, like those road trip kind of like if you ever read Hotel by AWA or um, Route 60 or was it Route 66 or Route 666 from um, Cross Gen years ago. It has that kind of feel to it, you know. Um, the artwork is great. Uh, Gabriel Walta, really good job. Um just I just paging through it now. Why 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 I'm recording this review and the storytelling is so strong. Like the the characters all have the unique look. Backgrounds are nice. The gore is really good, especially if you're doing a horror comic. That's important, you know. Um, the terror on people's faces, all that stuff looks great. And um, the coloring is really good too. The coloring really adds to the atmosphere of the book. The lettering is solid. You know, there's like those sh- schluck sounds, you know, when someone gets a uh, or splurk when, you know, when someone gets hit in the head or a creature gets cut or something, you know. Um, so, yeah, all that all everything's firing on all cylinders with this book, um, you know, and I'm a little biased because I do like Jeff Lemire. So but I like this. I thought this was solid, especially if you like horror books mixed with a little drama, you know, thing, uh, things like that could turn into like a buddy road trip thing, you know, with the guy and the girl, you know, being with the truck and everything. Um, yeah, I would, um, my final thoughts. I, I think this is worth picking up. Um, I definitely recommend it. Um, and I didn't realize until I read it that Gabriel Walter and Jeff Lemire had done a book together called sentient which uh, was put out by a publisher called TKO and they're kind of a neat publisher. They only, they don't distribute through diamond. You, the, the, you have to buy it through their website or, you know, or you can have a, one of your local comic stores order it for you, but it comes in like uh, their, their whole model is to be like the Netflix of comics. So when you order the book, you get the entire series so it can't, so I, I actually ordered Sentient. It comes in this box and it has all five issues in it. It was really cool. It was like 30 bucks worth it, you know. And I bought it at my local comic store, which actually carried it, which was kind of neat, you know. So yeah, so Sentient was cool too, if you if you're looking for a, a cool sci-fi thing, you know, sci-fi concept. They work well together. And um yeah, I I, I think this is worth picking up. So the price on the book is uh, $3.99. It's about the standard 24 pages or so. It's in color. And um, yeah, it's really good. There's no extras or anything in the back. It's just more ads and stuff. But yeah, I like it. It was It's worth getting. Um, all right, everybody. That's my review for Phantom Road. Check that out at your local store. And if you like Jeff Lemire, if you like horror, this one is for you. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Uh, We'll be back with a live stream next Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Me and Johnny will be live. And uh, I don't know who our guest is that week, but we always have cool indie guests. So so join us. We have a good time whether, you know, whether we have a guest or not. So all right, everybody. Have a great week. Talk to you later. And most importantly, read some comics. All right, bye.